Look at this. Your faith, thy faith, hath made thee whole. You know, over here is very interesting. Jesus acknowledges her faith. Not the faith that he gave it, no, it was her faith. Listen, when you doubt, it's your fault. When you believe, it's accredited to you. And by the way, Ephesians 2, 8 to 10, faith is not a work. Paul gives the contrast, very clear contrast. We're saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves, not of works, lest any mention. So there's the contrast. Faith is not a work. So just because I believe, it doesn't mean that I've worked myself to salvation. No, I believe the one that can save me. And he accredits, he, he puts that to you. He, 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 it, God sees that and he's pleased. I'm glad you believed in me. I'm glad you came to me. I'm glad you humbled yourself. I'm glad you're broken. Daughter, your faith, look at this. Has that made you, look at this. Go in what? Peace. You know the word peace here is not like just a general sense, goodbye, hello. It's just the way, shalom, they used it all the time. Go with complete prosperity, uh, completeness, security, uh, uh, wholeness. It meant more than just hello and goodbye, like they use it today. That was more than that. But it wasn't just man's peace upon someone, it was his peace. Remember what he said to his disciples in John 14? Peace I live, I leave with you. Look at this, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Why? Because what the peace of God, what he gives and what Jesus gives is far different than what the world gives. The world cannot give you peace like Jesus can. There's a big contrast, big difference. The peace that Jesus gives, no man can give because he can give you peace and joy in the midst of your trouble. The world can't give you the peace that Jesus can. Even in a chaotic world, Jesus is able to give you peace. Settle your heart. You see, everything that takes place today, like, let's be honest, mate, the world is a mess. It's getting worse. You watch the news, your heart will fail. You think that has anything on what's going to take place? You think the last two years that what we saw uh, with this COVID scare, uh, has anything with what's going to take place? Nothing. But listen, anyone in Christ has the peace of God that surpasseth all understanding and he can be anywhere and he can have demons follow him and he can have disease plague him and he can have death threats upon him but he has peace because he's in Christ. You have no Christ, you have no peace. That's the truth. And you've got these phony people out there that say prosperity gospel, health and wealth, and when you have your health and when you have your wealth, you have peace. No, it's rubbish. Most, most of the godly men that we see in the pages of this book suffered like this woman. They suffered. But they had God, and they had the peace of God rule their hearts. Mark the perfect man. Why? Because that, the end of that man is what? Peace. That man that's complete and mature with the knowledge of God, growing grace in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, mark him. He knows uh, he, 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 his Bible. He knows what God is all about. He knows the truth and mercy of God. He knows, well, from cover to cover, what, man, what, what God is like and the character of God. You mark him out and see how he lives and see where his eyes are upon and mark him because that man, his end, his upright conversation in Christ, in God, is peace. The reason why so many people don't have peace is because they're just simply going to the wrong places to fill that void.